Mexico and Ireland for a few days. I've decided to come on a road trip down to Dingle um, in County Kerry in the west of Ireland. Um, we're just starting here for two nights and um, we're going to explore the Slayhead Drive as well as Dingle Peninsula. So I'm going to take you guys on the road trip with me and hope you guys enjoy it. We've just stopped here as it says there's an old ring fort and apparently there's also like a pet sheep farm where you can uh, pet the baby lambs. <laughs> so we're gonna go check that out now. Beehive huts um, here in Fawn. Hope I'm pronouncing that right, Fawn. Um, so yeah, we're still on the Slay Head Drive, Dingle Peninsula. There's so many things to see here. Like every five minutes you're driving and there's a place to stop. Like there's famine cottages or there's an old ring fort or there's beehive huts. And just look at the views. Like the views are just amazing, spectacular, beautiful. Oh, it's so gorgeous here. Yeah, it's cold. But it's Ireland, what can you do? You have to get down quite low. So apparently they would have been inhabited from the ancient times until 1200 AD, which is pretty crazy. Um, and these forts can be found all along this road and all along the Dingle Peninsula. Um, often there would be like two or three or four huts all together and then there would be kind of like a doorway or a tunnel leading from one hut to the other so they were all connected um, and the reason they built these stone huts and the fact that they're all built out of stone is that that was the easiest thing to build there was stone everywhere there's stone all along this road all along this peninsula so it was something that was readily available and it made it kind of easy for them to build these houses as you can see if you climb right up to the top you get a bird's eye view of the bee huts you can see right into them um, and see how perfectly they're formed. And also what incredible views the people that lived here would have had looking down onto Dingle Bay. I 
Our next stop today is at these original Irish famine cottages. So they're here on the Slayhead Drive uh, near Dingle. Um, you pay three euro to the man that stands at the hood at the bottom uh, to get in. There's lots of animals, there's like horses and ponies and sheep. Um, he gives you, he can give you food for free and you can uh, feed them. And then you can walk up to the original cottages. These beautiful old stone cottages. So you've got to visit these on the Slayhead Drive. So we're just about to go inside one of the original famine houses right now. As you can see, they're totally made of stone and there's a thatched roof on top. Um, the door is quite small. Um, If you are going to drive the Slayhead Drive, I definitely recommend um, sparing some extra time because there are so many beautiful photo spots along the way. You're going to want to just keep stopping the car, just like kind of parking on the side of the road, jumping out and taking photos. There's like uh, sheep on the side of the road, there's seagulls, there's beautiful beaches, beautiful landscapes, um, all these fields with stone walls. Honestly, you're going to just keep stopping um, and you're going to want to just have more time. Well, you're not exactly going to go swimming, well, maybe in the middle of the summer, but normally you're probably not going to go swimming on the beaches in Ireland. They are still absolutely beautiful. There's gorgeous white sand, there's no plastic, there's no rubbish on any of these beaches. The water is actually like very blue, it's very beautiful. Um, there's all these kind of big rocks and stones along the shoreline, so swimming stones, and honestly, it's really beautiful. So. Yeah, you're not gonna go sunbathing, you're probably not gonna go swimming, but I don't know, still pretty nice. Our next stop is the Galleris Oratory, which is a stone building that used to be sort of like a church. It's 1,300 years old. And the reason why thousands of people come and visit it every year and kind of marvel at it is it's still totally waterproof, even though it's situated here, you know, on the Dingle Peninsula. Crazy weather, um, storms, rain, everything battling it every day, every month, every year. 1,300 years later, it's still standing and still waterproof. So even though the Vikings invaded and the Normans invaded and all the buildings surrounding the Galerus Oratory were knocked down, the Galerus always stayed standing. We are back on the road again this morning and we've stopped here at the Connor Pass which is on the road between Dingle and Trilly and there's even this very cute waterfall right here at the side of the road and the surrounding landscape is incredible! So let's go check out this waterfall. Woo! Stay wet! How beautiful is this? So if you leave yourself for some extra time when you're um, exploring Ireland, when you're driving the Dingle Peninsula, um, it allows you to stop off at places like this that you might not have known about. So this is the Connor Pass. I mean, just check out the landscapes.
Okay, so we took a little detour. We were on the main road from Dingle to Trilly uh, via the Connor Pass. And uh, we saw this road that said that it was going to take us to Brandon Point. We're so happy we did because, oh my God, this road is drop dead gorgeous. The landscape, wait till you see this beach behind me. Ah! So there's a beach with all these fields with ancient stone walls. There's sheep in all the fields. You can see the mountains at the other side of the bay there. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous here. Okay, our next stop is Sperm Oil Beach. Um, so we're heading back towards Trilly uh, from Brandon Point and we just saw a sign for this beach so we thought we'd come down and check it out. Um, so it looks pretty nice so far, we're pretty lucky the sun is shining. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys what this beach looks like and maybe you can visit for yourselves. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but this is one seriously long beach. There's actually cars parked on the beach. Um, looks like they're gonna go surfing. Um, I can see people walking way down there, way down the other end of the beach. And there's like mountains and waves and people going surfing. No plastic, no trash, very clean beach, loving it. <laughs> 